Hey there everyone, Hanyu here, and welcome back to Persona 5. Yeah, it's been a while. I do apologize, but you know, things should be getting back into the groove here, starting hopefully this week. But yeah, it should be this week. So, without further ado, let's do first quick heal. Then let's move on out. There's a shadow. Be careful. It's not gonna be a problem. Shadow ahead. Take caution. This should be the area, right? I think. Um. We brought the employee ID from the chief director. Will we be able to pass through now? Of course. Well, probably. Nice. Access granted. All right. Hell yeah, finally. You know, it's a little odd. I thought Okamura might be behind the mental shutdowns, but we haven't found anything even remotely pointing to such a secret so far. Mm. Something that important might be deeper in. Let's just keep looking. Let's just keep going. On to the next area. Focus. All right. Where are we now? We still have quite a bit to go through, don't we? Damn. Whoa. Look, that building is where the treasure is. We're not that far. We're not far. If it's seriously that close, can't we just go from the outside? No point going through he through there. Hmm, that might be worth a try. Yes, yes, I know there's an enemy. Surprise attack successful. Now just don't. It isn't a major threat, but don't use electric attacks. Easy. All right. They were no match for us. Nope. Is this a safe room? It is. <laughs> Should be able to resume our infiltration in the future from this place. Yes, yes. Whoops. All right, carrying on. Show 
me your true form. Take care of you. I've got the advantage. Don't weak against nuclear attacks. Hmm. That was just silly. Okay, let's move on. Leveled up. Okay. I'll reveal your true form. Gotcha. Now's our chance. Beat him up. That's one down. Go, please, go. Right, she doesn't have a baton pass yet. And then to him. Okay. They didn't stand a chance. Bored now. Go find a strong enemy. Show me your true form. One of those orb things. And just end it. All out attack. Nice. Liquid mercury, nice. Good work. Keep it up. I don't see a point in going up there. Gotcha. Oh, 
Boom. Alright, well that's where we're going. Somewhere. Show me your true form. Gotcha. You're mine. That's <laughs> just you guys. Yep, yep, we got this. Okay. They didn't stand a chance. No, not really. We made it. The treasure is in the here, yeah? Just past this building, we're definitely getting closer. I find it somewhat odd that we st have still yet to see anything about the mental shutdowns. Mm. Well, this palace is on the site of the corporate HQ, remember? If he never told any employees about it, we may not find any hints toward his involvement. Worst comes to worst, we're ne we're just gonna have to get the info out of the shadow himself. Indeed. Anyway, let's let us hurry inside. I believe the factory comes next. See it. Come on, turn around. I'll reveal your true form. Gotcha. I don't know how, but I got ya. <laughs> Gotcha. They're done for. Indeed they are. Clean up complete. Nice. All right. Huh? They weren't a big deal at all. No, not really. line. Hmm. It's somewhere. Well, hold on. I found a chest. What do you want to do, Joker? What do we have here? world is weak here. There. Hey, it's a safe room. Nice. We found it. I should write something. Yeah, we're going to go on outside for a bit and have everybody recover cuz the SP patches. <laughs> Mona still doesn't have time to recover because he never gets a turn. <laughs> At least right now, so. We're gonna head on out. And then come back in the next day.
Ooh, got a fair amount done too, so. Joker. Feels like we're fairly close to the treasure now. There's no doubt we're nearing the end. What? I don't know, my calculations are saying we're only si like 60% in. We still got some ways to go, so be careful of how much time we have left, Joker. Mm, don't think it's gonna be a problem. We still have quite a bit of time before we need to finish him up, right? Yeah, 18 days. It's not gonna take 18 days. Hey. Yep, off to bed. Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Why don't you read something till we get there? Hmm. Hey. All right. Okay. Popular fishing ponds. Hmm? Sure. Why not? Experience the wonder of the great outdoors right in this very city. Hey, hey. Ichigaya? This is a train station, right? When you look at the photos, it looks like the station it, it looks like the station's in a fishing pond. In the fishing pond. This kind of place might not be everyone's cup of tea, but you could have fun on your own. Finished reading Fish Pond Spotter. Ichigaya. Give it a try, you might you may land the big one. Alright. I can go by myself and try my hand at fishing if I choose to. I might do that. See what that's like. I wonder if it's a mini game or something, or if it's stat based. It's probably stat based. I bet it'd be nice to just go alone for some relaxing fishing. Why don't you give it? Why don't you try it sometime? Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of time. Autumn is for eating, autumn is for art, autumn is for reading. Stores will use whatever reasons they can to pull, pull in customers this season in particular. Ah yes, people also say autumn is for sports. A while back, baseball was the national sport, but these days people have been into soccer. As you know, black and white are the common colors for soccer balls. Ah, Nanya, could you take a look at this, take a look at this picture? Do you know why they chose black and white? I'm guessing it shows up on TV. Yeah, shows up well on TV. Correct. When they started broadcasting soccer on TV, the screens were still black and white. Color combinations like white and brown were difficult to make out. Incidentally, the ball is composed of 12 black pentagons and 20 white he white hexagons. A contrast of colors stretching over the surface, uninterrupted. Don't you think it's don't you think it's elegant? Nice going. All right. A recent is a recent design that's caught my eye is the Moon Burger, which uses an egg to represent the moon. I'm well aware of the bad rumors surrounding Okumura Foods, but you can't argue with hunger. Mm. You would honestly think that an egg would represent the sun, since, you know, 
yellow and white, the, like the, the, the yellow sun beaming off rays of light. But, whatever. Eggs make me think of the sun, not the moon. You think someone like her really eats hamburgers? Hmm? Why not everybody eats hamburgers? Okay, sure, why not? Let's let's hang out. Hey. Oh, Zach Kun, do you have have you decided on our plans for today? Let's hang out. Oh we got plenty of time. We have seventeen days now. One day off every now and then isn't going to kill anyone. I guess if that's really what to do. Yes, it's part of my grand strategy. I suppose it wouldn't hurt to take things a little slower. Hey, do you have some time to talk about Aiko's boyfriend? Thank you. Thanks. Well then, let's step inside the student council room. Aiko's boyfriend, Tsukasa, has been sending me a lot of texts recently. His days and nights are reversed due to his work, so he often sends me a good morning late at night. Does Aiko know about this? I'm not sure. I'd definitely tell Aiko if he asked me on a date. But for now, things are generally pretty normal. Most messages like, how's your boyfriend, and hope you had a great day today. Do you think their relationship could actually be serious? Was I just biased to think that all he wants from Aiko is her money? He's definitely suspicious. Yes. I mean, it does sound like a TV, sound like a TV show, a lying host that tricks women into debt then forces them to sell their bodies. Where'd that come from? But those kinds of things exist in reality as well. Immoral hosts, human trafficking rings. My father even mentioned to me about gangs of men that look specifically for depressed women in Shinjuku. It seems... They take advantage of the loneliness those girls feel to force them into horribly abusive situations. Then after ensuring the girls are buried in crippling debt, they make them sell their bodies to pay it off. Jesus Christ, man. I mean, yeah, I knew shit like that existed too, but still. There are other ways they force girls into it as well. Blackmail, illegal immigration. There are countless victims of schemes like that. Countless gangs as well. My father was going after a particularly notorious one of the, one when... In the course of his investigation, he was hit by an errant truck. The impact killed him instantly. At first, it, at first it was thought to be an accident, but at the funeral I overheard my father's supervisor speaking with my sister. He was saying my father had likely been assassinated. They suspected that the gang he was investigating hired the driver. Who was their leader? I don't know, the driver died on impact as well, but apparently they found drugs in his bloodstream. Either way, that gang has been pushed back into the shadows thanks to the Shinjuku cleanup operation. I'm not sure any of that would have happened if not for the incident with my father. He was a noble man. He truly was, wasn't he? I wish I could be a little more like him myself. Instead, I've just been hesitant. That's exactly why my sister became a prosecutor to begin with. She couldn't stand by and watch as evil prevailed over justice. That passion undoubtedly came from our father. 
Our mother passed away many years back, so when father was killed, he had survived on his own. We had to survive on our own. The responsibility, the pressure of that all fell on my sister. Because of that, she couldn't help but talk down on our father at times. She, she says death is no different than surrender. But... I still look up to him. I was often lonely because of how much time we spent at he, he spent at work. But seeing him tirelessly pursue one cause after the next was nothing short of incredible. That was how my father chose to live his life, trying to bring justice and order to the world around him. I'm sure he was happy. Yes. Yeah. Come to think of it, there were there was something he used to say to me all the time. The most important part of your life is how you choose to live it. Hmm. How have I chosen to live? And more importantly, how do I want to live? You can figure that out now. I see. Now? You're right, I can still change my path going forward. To be honest, I've been determined to follow the path my sister laid for me. After my father's death, I wanted to lighten the burden on her as much as I possibly could. Uh, oh, we're supposed to be talking about Aiko here. Sorry for going off t so off topic. Actually, It's perfectly fine. You know, I never actually talked to anyone about my father. It's such a painful memory to look back on. But I feel comfortable discussing it with you, and beyond that, I think I understand my life a bit better now. Thank you very much. So, thank you. Rank 7. Allows you to see Null, Repel, and Drain when highlighting a target in battle. Really? That's gonna be useful. Alright. Now earn more XP from Arcana, Bur Arcana Burst when fusing personas of the High Priestess Arcana. And of course, yeah. So, very nice. Oh, it's Aiko, gloating again. Maybe I'll, like, skip college and just get married to Tsukasa instead. I guess she's choosing how she wants to live, too, as long as she's sure she'll be happy. Oh, another message, huh? You serious about Hanyo-kun? Wanna have a double wedding? I'm game if you are. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I couldn't even begin to think about marriage at this point in my life. By the way, can you keep pretending to be my boyfriend for a bit longer? That's the best 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 method I have of keeping tabs on Aiko and Tsukasa. At any rate, thanks for listening to me today. I'll let you know if anything urgent comes up. All right then. See you later. <sighs> ah, you're back. Well, if it isn't, uh, I catch you. There haven't been any mental shutdown cases lately, right? Not since Okumura took first place in the rankings. Perhaps the culprit behind them is being cautious due to the success we've had recently. So it's cause of so it's cause of us. Damn, I'm glad we're famous. But it's highly probable they they'll become active again, especially if they think the Phantom Thieves aren't act actively attempting to do anything. We're also gonna be in trouble if we let public opinion go down the path it's heading. Yes, there have been a great deal more interesting comments lately, and we're all trying so hard. Our inactivity must be upsetting, we should keep that in mind. Okay, I'm gonna go check out what she wants. But first... Ah, sorry to intrude. I simply had... 
I simply happened to be passing by and had an urge to drink a cup of fine coffee here. Thanks for your patronage. <laughs> I should be thanking you, this is one of the few places I can actually relax. My apologies, I'm sure it must be closing time soon, I'll be on my way soon enough. I must be going now, the coffee was delicious. When you help me in developing a new move, it would be a good experience for you as well. If you're free, please come to the church. Yeah, sure, why not? Good evening. I traveled overseas for a school trip. The weather was really nice there. It's still so hot here in Japan. If it's alright with you, let's play a match. Eh, it's still worth pushing for, pushing for the bond, though. I look forward to it. Now, time for the lesson. Ifumi seems to be having fun. I can sense her dedication to Shogi. And I feel like our bond will grow stronger soon. Thank you for today. Ne. Nah. Huh? Who could that be at this hour? You have tomorrow off, right? I'm gonna be on standby at the hideout. So, since it's a day off, we gotta play games. <laughs> I'll bring an awesome one tomorrow. I'll show you the ropes so you can use it to let out your stress. It's a retro game called Power Intuition. Please look forward to it. Time to make like a tree. We should get some sleep if Futaba's going to be here during the day tomorrow. Yes, yes, but... Okay, well, first things first. Okay. Who needs police when we have the Phantom Thieves? So true. So much for being a great detective, Okechi-kun is finished. I'm really curious about their true identities. Those calling card posters are collector's items now. Hey. Futaba's down here in the shop. Sounds like Futaba's here. Come on, let's go downstairs. Whoops. Well, first... Yusuke... Makoto! Makoto is going to go up, too, so... And this is what I- well, I'm just gonna keep raising Makoto, then. But first... Let's get this stat boost shake, or smoothie, or whatever. Excuse me. All right. So close. At least I think. I don't know. It's, you can't actually tell. <laughs> if I can rank her up, I'm going to rank her up. Oh, Zakun, do you, have you decided on our plans for today? <laughs> yes, 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 for you have plenty of time. You think maybe you could come to, uh, come with me to see her? I feel like my bond with Makoto shall, will grow stronger soon. Thank you, it's reassuring to know you'll be there with me. <clears throat> She's waiting over at Big Bang Burger, let's go. So what did you want to talk about? Well, um, I was wondering if you could maybe lend me some cash. 
What? It's nothing real major, but I need it, like, right now. I'll pay you back, though, honest, please. Does this have to do with Tsukasa? Mm-hmm. He dropped a super expensive bottle of sake at work, so the club's making him pay for it, but he needs help. How suspicious. He's lying to you, Aiko. Don't give him any money. He's not lying. I know you're all weird about the fact that he's a host, but my Tsukasa's not like that. He's really gentle and honest, too. He even calls me princess. I'm the only one he says that to, you know? He says it's because I'm special. So he calls you a special princess. What do you think, Zack-kun? That's how he ropes you in. Yes. I have to agree. Every girl who gives him money is his princess. That's That way he can never get their names mixed up. Don't accuse him of, st of that stuff. You don't have any proof. You're not wrong about that. But did you ask anyone at his club about the broken bottle? Well, um, no. He told me not to talk to them about it, though. He's too proud to have me go crying to his boss. Please, Makoto, you're the only person I can trust. All my other friends would rather focus on cram school and entrance exams than take time to help me. And who knows what my parents would say if I tried to ask them. Please, even a little. I think you should end your relationship with him. If you don't put a stop to this, he might try to drag you into some suspicious line of work. Oh, he already got me a job. It's nothing weird, though. And it's just serving drinks at a bar and to help him pay off that broken bottle. He said I'll be number one in no time. Maybe I'll just keep going at... Keep doing it after I graduate high school, though. I mean, it's not like I'm going to go to college. <laughs> Aiko. You can't just do what he says. He's trying to deceive you. A smart person like you totally wouldn't understand what it's like. You're just going to go to good college, work, for, work at a fancy company, and then what? At the end of the day, your life's going to be totally boring. I mean, is that seriously how you want to live? I, I'm not sure yet. But be that as it may, you still stay as far away from him as you can. You should still stay away from him. So you're not going to help me? Ah, oh, just forget it. I can make up, make it up if I just let some customers take me out on dates after work. Aiko, <laughs> wait. I didn't want you to. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but Tsukasa has been texting me almost constantly. Recently, he's been asking if. My sister and I live alone, and that he'd be glad to take and glad to help us out. Even today, he asked me if I'm still happy with my boyfriend. Listen to me, Aiko. He's not serious about you. Don't give me that crap. Sukasa is just so nice that he'd worry about my friends for me. Wait, you were texting him behind my back? What the hell, Makoto? It was mostly him texting me. Ugh. You have the grades, the looks, a cool boyfriend, and you seriously still want more? Tsukasa is all I have. You can't take him from me. Please listen. That's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, right, just keep your hands off. I'd never forgive you if you stole, away, stole him away, Makoto. <sighs> Tsukasa is all she has? You know, I think she's exactly the kind of girl who's a kind of girl those gangs in Shinjuku are on the lookout for. Lonely, depressed girls. Lonely, depressed girls who have nowhere to vent their frustrations. Actually... Aiko's family is quite well off. Her multi-talented younger brother seems to be the sole focus of her parents' attention, though. I'm sure that's why she fell for Tsukasa in the first place. He treats her like she's special. But asking a high schooler for money isn't normal boyfriend behavior. She needs to realize that you're going to help, right? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's reassuring to hear you say that. Aiko's blessed with, to have both money and family, yet she's still trying to break free from them. She's almost the exact opposite what? of me, but I guess in a sense, watching her now is almost like looking back at my past self. 
I was so blinded by my own convictions that I never stopped to consider other alternative viewpoints on the world. But that's not the right way to live. I want to show her that... I want to show her that just like you did for me. Chance to withstand an otherwise fatal attack with one HP remaining. All right. That's very useful. Two more ranks. I know she wants me to stay out of her business, but I'd never forgive myself if I let this come to pass. Hmm. What is the right way to live? At any rate, we're going to catch that horrible host. I'll let you know once I've thought of how to do it. I'll see you later. Thank you again for today. I'll see you later. Ah, you're back. Well then. That reminds me of the home shopping programs there. Yeah, let's see what they got. Sonic socks. Yeah, sure, I'll buy it if only just to resell it. No one wants to hang out tonight, huh? All right. Oh. Yeah, let's go. Had a dream where I was ejected into outer space and was slowly dying of su suffocation. Feel like I've got more guts now than I did before. Okay, sure, why not? I just wasted time that I could have spent doing something. Oh well, whatever. Good morning, Makoto. Good morning, how are you feeling? A bank, a pyramid, and now a spaceport. Anything goes in the cognitive world, I suppose. Anyhow, this is on a grander scale than before, so we'll have to do some research. We should get moving soon. Why don't we go to the palace today? That's perfectly fine with me. Yes. Understood. We can't lose this for Haru's sake. Okay, I'll see you after school at the hideout, don't forget. Yep, hideout time. Guess there was nothing special going on at school today. It appears everyone is here. The promised date is far off, so let us go about this with extreme caution. Hold a quick meeting. Now then. Okumura even sees his own daughter as a tool. We must change his heart. There's still time until Haru is taken away. Let's go about this systematically. Let's start our war council. Okay, what do? What's going on with the with our palace infiltration? Seems we're going at an above average speed, and there shouldn't be any problems if we keep this up. We should be particularly vigilant in regard to the shadows on guard patrol. It could, would be quite troublesome if they were to catch us. We're doing quite well at the moment. I don't think we're lacking in strength at all. That will bring our meeting to a close. I think that's about it. Hey, everyone. All right, all right. In we go. We've arrived. Now let's 
Yep, let's get to it. Nah, it was nothing. Wait. This really is a factory, just like the name says. I wonder what they're making here. Do you think it's related to that Escape to Utopia thing? Hold on a second, ain't, that, ain't the guys in here moving kind of weird? Unfortunately, this is the exact opposite of how you would imagine a utopia to be. These conveyor belts and the positioning of the workers. It's almost identical to the company's bun factory. I can't believe this. I see. At the very least, this is how Okumura views his workers. My apologies for saying so, Noir, but this is truly atrocious. <laughs> Well, it'll all be under control if we can trigger that change of heart in him. Yeah, let's go. Show me your true form. Gotcha. Give me your power. You want know, to talk as if I won't lend my power to someone that's super lame. Hey, so this is assault, right? Maybe I can call the police. Maybe I can tell them that you you were worse than you actually were. Call them, I dare you. What's with that attitude? Fine, you call them if you want them to come over so much. If this were a movie right now, some dashing prince would come and save me. While I'm still here, that guy really that guy is really keeping me waiting. Just wait a little longer. We can say you won. I did very bad in that, but okay. Nothing, huh? Robotic Arm Control Council is, Council is currently undergoing a required system update. Please wait patiently. Just like I thought. 
Nice. It's a step forward. Okay. I can Dad? feel it. Let's go then. Somewhere. The smell, the treasure must be right beyond that door. This is gonna be another one of those semi authentic the one of them authentic whatever things. No, there's no authentication here. Kinda of anti anticlimactic, huh? Sure, why not? I'm not complaining, let's go. Anticlimactic, huh? Well, we almost got crushed. That freaking like a metal, just metal broke way uh, too goddamn easy. There's no point in complaining at this point. We will be forced to search for another route. Hmm. But is there one? Hmm. You think we might be able to use the brittle nature of these arms to our advantage? See what you can do. So now I should be able to use this, right? What the? Something came out. Huh, this is the control panel for that robotic arm. Seems like we can use this to set it to either three times, five times, or ten times normal speed. I bet it'd be, it would break if it was stuck on 10x speed for a long time. Ah, nice. It appears to have broken. It was dead like instantly. I know it was... I know it's ten times normal speed, but still, that's weak. Yes. That just proves how truly overweight, overworked these machines are. It seems any increase in workload would have led to its collapse. Hey. Wait, but don't you think we might be able to walk on the broken arm? We should check it. We should check it out, Joker. Yeah, sure. Why not? Lend me your power. Feels like I'm forgetting something important. Whatever, I don't care about don't care anymore. Sorry about that. I'll listen if you want to talk. The enemy's recovered. Look out! Cool. You want to talk as if? Hey, Mister. If I grew up, what do you think the future would the future me would have been like? A fashionable older woman. Shoot, I'd rather not age at all. Some older, fashionable ladies look great, but they still look old. Anyway. Hey, is this a, is this all a game to you? You're lucky it was just me. You can't do anything like this in the real world, right? I choose my targets carefully. I don't know. Your strategy sounds pretty lame to me. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Willem. Yeah. 
Here, you can replace Mothman. Nice. Also nice. 15% chance of reflecting physical skills does not stack. There we go. Okay. I'll reveal your gotcha. Sure, why not? No This is a part of me. It's so alive. Persona. Like the, still really love the music. It's been it's been well over a month, and the music still really gets me, man. Don't actually have anything with fire damage, huh? Well, no, no point in using the multi-attack version. Forgot how to use skills. What's this? After battle, 10% HP recovery for backup allies. Huh. All right. Huh? Done already? How disappointing. Somewhere. Gotcha. Aha! I was hoping for that. real thing okay Huh. 
Okay, well, I guess he's resistant to all things. So I have to land a crit. Let's see, let's see. Okay. It has no discernible weaknesses, so. Don't run away, don't run away. So that one's going to be a bit of a pain to catch. Okay. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. So if you enjoyed it, please leave it a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more content in the future. And until next time, everybody, have a good one. I'll see you later. Bye. I'm just going to move over here so that that patrolling enemy doesn't see me. Okay. Bye, everybody.